Here we're going to look at multiplying fractions together. And the process for multiplying fractions together is fairly straightforward. So all you need to do is multiply the top two numbers together and then also multiply the bottom two numbers together. And if you do these separately, they'll give you your new numerator and your new denominator. So for this example here, all you need to do is multiply the top together and then multiply the bottom together. So if we do that now, the top's going to be four times three, which will give us 12 for our numerator. And then the bottom will be 11 times four, which is going to be 44. So we're nearly finished. The last step, which you almost always want to do is simplify the fraction as far as you can. So 12 and 44, we can do a few things to this. So we can divide this by four. So we can divide 12 and 44 both by four. So if you, do, if you divide 12 by four, you get three. And if you divide 44 by four, you get 11. So you end up with your final answer as being 3 elevenths. Now let's have a look at how to divide fractions. And this is actually very similar to multiplying them. There's just one extra step at the start that makes it slightly different. So here we have 4 fifths divided by 2 sevenths. And as you can see above, it says that you need to flip the second fraction and then multiply them together. So here, the one that we're going to flip is 2 sevenths and that's going to become 7 over 2. And you leave the 4 fifths exactly how it is. And when you flip the second fraction, that means that the division sign then becomes a multiply sign. So we'll have multiplied by 7 over 2. And from here onwards, it's exactly the same as multiplying fractions together as normal. So the top will be 4 times 7, which is 28. And the bottom will be 5 times 2, which is 10. And we can simplify this like we did in the last example. So if we divide both of these by 2, we get 14 over 5. And if we want, we can then also convert this into a mixed number, which we've gone over in the last couple of videos. So 14 over 5, you can get two fives into 14. So 2 is going to be our integer. And that's two fives with the remainder of 4. So it's going to be 2 and 4 fifths. Right, let's look at an example exam question. And this is typical of the sort of question you might get on fractions. So this question says, work out 2 thirds divided by 7 ninths. And they want the fraction in its simplest form. So this is usually what they ask for when your answer is going to be a fraction. So hopefully you remember that the first step is to flip your second fraction and then change the division sign to a multiply sign. So you get two thirds still, and it's multiply instead of divide. And your second fraction becomes nine over seven. Now you need to multiply your top and bottom numbers together. So the top two times nine becomes 18, and the bottom three times seven becomes 21. Now we're on to the simplifying part of the question. So you need to think of something that you can divide 18 and 21 by. And here, hopefully, you can spot that the number you want to divide them by is 3. So if you divide 18 by 3, you get 6. And if you divide 21 by 3, you get 7. And 6 and 7, you can't divide either of those numbers any further. So that means that is that fraction in its simplest form. So your final answer is 6 sevenths. Let's look at one more exam question to do with fractions. Here we have work out one and two thirds divided by three quarters. Now, before you can do this division, you first need to convert this first part into an improper fraction. So if you remember from the earlier section, you want to, to write one whole as a fraction. 
So one whole is going to be equal to three thirds. And we choose thirds because that's the, the denominator of the fraction we have in our mixed number. So that means we have three thirds in the whole and we have an extra two thirds next to it. So if we add those together, we get five thirds. So one and two thirds is then going to be equal to five thirds. Now we can move on to the division itself. So we're actually going to have five thirds divided by three quarters. And we rewrite this as we've done before. That's five thirds times by four thirds. So flipping the second fraction. Now the top's going to be five times four, which is 20. And the bottom's three times three, that's 20 over nine. And now at this point, you wanna to check to see if you can simplify it. But 20 and nine, they don't actually have any common factors, so we can't divide either of the, those numbers by anything. So it's already in its simplest form. So your final answer is just 20 over nine.